Well, we've got core, so we're going to go through and show you what we do with core to make injectors. The first step, after taking it out of the box and visually checking that it isn't messed up and busted or burned, is to assess that it's electrically sound. Modern piezo type injectors uh, have a stack of magical crystals inside that make the little valve do its job. That stack is non serviceable and can't be fixed, repaired, or assessed visually. So, unless you can check it with some sort of electrical tester, you've got no way of knowing whether or not the core you're building is good or bad. We've got an electrical tester. We're going to check two different things on these to verify that they're good. First is to check the resistance and capacitance of the piezo stack itself. To do that, we plug a test cable into the injector body or connector. We clamp off onto the injector body with a ground and we push the start button on the magic box. It's going to check two things. It's going to check the resistance of the piezo stack between the terminals, across the terminals of the connector. And it's going to check the capacitance to see how much charge the stack of crystals will absorb and retain. This injector, which is a new injector we're using on a test bench as a master, has a resistance of 181 kilo ohms and a capacitance of 2.14 microfarads. This is a good injector. Now to contrast that, we're going to grab, completely at random, a core injector. This one is in somewhat poor condition, um, but it's going to be good for this particular test because when we hook it up and hit start, our test box will have its little bar go slowly across the screen. Test box is displaying the voltage error signal this means that there's a problem with the injector and we find that the resistance on this injector is 105 kilo ohms and the capacitance 1.88 microfarads. Capacitance is okay but the resistance is low. Um, we would not build up this injector. We would reject it and um, put a big old X on it for bad and there you go.